LibraySense Biosensor streams real-life glucose data every minute. It provides the most needed information for you to manage your glucose levels and to find the best nutrition to fuel your body on the race day. So if you want to win your next race, better keep watching this video. Let's go! Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tom, I'm a type 1 diabetic and I've been using Freestyle Libre sensors for over 3 years. The sensors I have been using are the Freestyle Libre sensors that are approved for diabetics. Libre Glucose Sports Sense, which Abbott just announced and which I'm gonna talk about today, received a CE mark for athletes ages 16 and older. During an observational trial of Libre Sense Biosensor, two cycling teams trained with this biosensor during preparation for the Tour de France, which is the world number one cycling event. These cycling teams tracked the correlation between glucose levels and their athletic performance. Abbott works with a performance technology company called Super Sapiens, and this company provides a mobile app where athletes can view their real-life glucose data on their mobile devices. In this video I'm gonna talk about how the LibreSense biosensor works, what benefits it brings you and how it's different from Freestyle Libre sensors. Keep in mind I'm not a medical professional and this video is not medical advice. I'm not affiliated with Abbott or Super Sapiens, I'm just a type 1 diabetic that is interested in technology. So let's get right into it. Before we talk about how the biosensor works, it is critical for you to understand why it's important to monitor and manage your glucose levels. Let's look at an example that Super Sapiens company president describes on their website. Here is an athlete whose normal average glucose is around 90 mg per deciliter. This athlete has learned that he needs to be at 105 mg per deciliter of average glucose to be properly fueled for a marathon. What the biosensor does is it streams the real-time glucose measurements and trends directly to an app on your mobile device. It lets you see how your glucose levels are changing depending on what you eat and what kind of physical activity you do. It is in fact a continuous glucose monitor which works in a glucose range between 55 and 200 milligrams per deciliter. This range might be too narrow for a diabetic but it is perfectly sufficient for a healthy athlete. So why should you be really thinking of getting the LibreSense biosensor? What exactly will it bring you? If you wear the sensor, you can see glucose levels, trends and metrics real time. You can analyze the data and you can learn how exactly your body and your glucose reacts to different kinds of food that you eat. Some meals will spike your glucose too much and then the body reacts by releasing a hormone called insulin and bringing the glucose level maybe too low. And you don't want this to happen on your race day because you would just not have enough energy to compete at your best possible performance. If you wear your sensor for some time, you will be able to identify the optimal way to eat on the race day in order to keep your glucose in the target range for the whole time of the race and beat your personal Personal record. Now if you used Freestyle Libre sensors before, you might be asking how is the LibreSense biosensor different from the Freestyle Libre sensors? Well Abbott designed the biosensor for sports use. It is not approved for medical use and it should not be used for diagnosis or treatment of any medical condition like diabetes. And this gives Abbott more flexibility to make this biosensor more compatible with sports companies' mobile apps and other solutions through non-exclusive partnerships. I can imagine that there will be a wider variety of apps and that these third-party solutions will be more flexible compared to the Libre sensors for medical use. And I hope that the glucose data streaming will be possible to various apps on your watch or other electronic devices used in a gym. Now a few more things you should know about LibreSense. The biosensor is based on the Freestyle Libre continuous glucose monitoring technology and it is the first product that is meant for a personal use beyond diabetes management. And having said that, biosensor will have a few similarities. The biosensor has exactly the same size as the Libre sensor, so it's 5 mm high and it's 35 mm in diameter, which is about the size of a 2 euro coin. It will last for 14 days, it will need to be applied 
on the back side of your arm like this. By the way, watch the video here if you want to learn how to apply the sensor effectively and make it last for the full two weeks. After application, you will activate the sensor with a quick scan with your mobile phone and then there is a 60 minute warm up time and after 60 minutes you will start receiving data of your glucose directly to your mobile device minute by minute. So there is no more scanning needed, just one scan to activate the sensor. And you can probably expect the same level accuracy with the biosensor that we had with Freestyle Libre 2. The product is currently available in eight European countries, so you can buy it in Austria, France, Germany, Ireland, Italy, Luxembourg, Switzerland and the United Kingdom and you can already pre-order it today. Now will I be using the biosensor as a type 1 diabetic? Of course I will, I'm so excited to try it out. It's a new technology, it's a real-time CGM. A disclaimer, I will not be relying on it for any treatment decisions. So I really want to be careful, it's not approved for diabetes patients and I really want to use it more as an entertaining thing to learn new technology, see how it works and if it brings me any benefits or not. I will not be relying on it for any treatment decisions and you should not either. I just pre-ordered two biosensors from the Super Sapiens website. I will include a link for you below if you want to check it out and I'm really looking forward to test them out. I will definitely make another video, a follow-up video, where I will share my experience with LibreSense biosensors with you viewers of Type 1 Talks YouTube channel. So if you're not subscribed yet and you want to see the follow-up video, make sure to subscribe and click the bell so that you can receive a notification whenever I release a new video. Guys, if you like this video, then click on the playlist on the screen now, because this playlist has the best and the most popular videos that I published on my channel so far, and I'm sure you will like them too. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next Type 1 Talks video. Ciao!